Here's a video about replacing the seat webbing on a MG Midget seat. This is, I think, the original seat webbing, which is like a rubber and fiber composite, and it's all just dried and cracked. So I'll remove these seat rails first and then cut off the old webbing, and I'll show you how I replace these pretty much for free if you have some old uh, strapping or car tie downs kicking around. That's what I used. And I'll show you what I did, and it seems to work just fine. You need to take out the all of the clips or hooks that hold the this piece of wire in place, except for these two that are in the corners near the front of the seat. And so you'll have a pile of clips like this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to sharpen this part right here, just with a grinder or a file to make it easier to push through the webbing. I'll show you what that looks like when we're done. Like most of you guys, I have lots of spare ratchet straps kicking around. So this one is going to be sacrificed as my new seat webbing. I'm gonna cut this into length, use the uh, two of the, I had two whole pieces, uh, one, two vertical and uh, on the, four, the four horizontal. So I need to cut six pieces out of this strapping and this will be my new webbing. This is one of the old um, horizontal or side to side pieces of webbing next to a length of ratchet strap that I'm going to cut to length. And I'm just using it as a template and I'm gonna go about, I don't know, three or four inches longer on each side. That, so it'll allow me to fold this over and give me lots to attach. And what I'm using to attach it is some epoxy clamp that in place it works pretty well to put a, a point on that clip There's the start of the two uh, straps that go front to back. So I started with the, uh, the two hooks that are on the closest to the back of the seat and threaded them through those little metal pieces of wire that you need to save from the original straps. And now these just clip in easily to the, uh, to the holes that hopefully you marked on the back of the seat. Now you pick one side and you're going to do put the hooks through your strapping after you've wrapped the strapping around the bar that runs around the frame or that is the frame and you should have marked where you took your hooks out from so that it's easy to find those holes of course you can stick your finger under there and find the holes but it's just easier if you put a little mark so I'll go around and hook all the ones on the left side of the seat first and then I'll epoxy and and press these pieces together and let the epoxy set up and then pull it tight on the other side and put the hooks in after it's pulled tight then epoxy and clamp the other side around itself i made up a couple of clamping fixtures to help uh, the epoxy squeeze through the fibers of the strap and what this is is just a couple of pieces of wood with some duct tape to hold them together like a book and some wax paper so that the epoxy doesn't stick. And then that, that fits around the, uh, the strap like that. Then I'll put a pile of epoxy inside here, put that down, clamp this over, and then just use a little C-clamp or a pair of vice grips and clamp it in there um, the epoxy is supposed to be supposed to set in five minutes, but I found some of it takes a little longer. Could be that I'm not mixing it that well, but whatever the case may be, you might want to leave it for maybe an hour or so, so that it's good and uh, hardened before you take this off. Because when you go to the other side to pull, you're going to want to be able to apply a good bit of force to pull this around on the other side to make sure that these straps are nice and tight.
The epoxy has been applied. The fixtures have been clamped with uh, vice grips and C clamps. And these are cranked down pretty good. Put on a, a, quite a bit of epoxy and in a few spots, uh, it's possible to see the epoxy oozing out just a little bit, but that's okay because uh, what you really want is the epoxy to squeeze through in between the fibers of your strap so that when it hardens, it makes a good strong, a good strong um, connection. And so there's the, uh, one of those hooks pulling through. And those are th this these this side and up at the back here. Those are already hooked in and uh, and ready to be pulled tight once the epoxy cures. One side of each strap is now done. Epoxy's cured, and I've pulled the clips with the other side as tight as I can get them, which is pretty tight. And this is how. I got the clips in, so I hooked, hooked the metal clip, um, the hook through the bit, through the um, through the strap, and then pulled it tight, like so, and then grabbed onto the the uh, the hook <clears throat> with a pair of vice grips, and forced it back up into the hole. So now I'll clamp, I'll, I'll apply some epoxy to all of these ends of the straps, clamp it down, let it set up overnight, and this seat should be good to go. The second side of each strap is now epoxied and clamped, and we just have to wait for it to set up. Take the clamps off, and it should be good. Here's the seat done, and I'll take off the last, last seat clamp. See the epoxy has squeezed through nicely. Doesn't look factory original, but it's gonna hold my butt off the floor just fine.